This is Oberon, aka Obi, aka Obi Ron Kenobi, aka Ziggy, if you're watching our live D&D show. He's a kitten, and by now we hoped he'd grow out of destroying everything, but since he hasn't, we need a way to curtail his mayhem. This is Oberon. He's still a kitten. He's about, I don't know, eight months old now. He is an absolute terror, but we love him. He likes to destroy uh, everything. So he needs a home. Well, I mean, he's got a home. <laughs> he needs a house. He needs a bed. He's he needs a, a little, house bed. A little home. We're going to build a giant jack-o'-lantern cat bed, cat bed, cat house. Cat bed house. Scratching post. Slash scratching post. Yes. You may have seen Evan and Caitlin did something like this where they made basically a cactus version. They used the, the balloon and the paper mache and we kind of got inspired by that. We also got inspired by Sam from our Patreon who was making paper mache pumpkins. Thanks Sam. Thanks Evan and Caitlin. Awesome ideas. We're going to make our own Halloween version. So this was prototype number one. What we did here is we tied one end of the balloon to the other so it's like kind of a pumpkin-y squat shape and then the idea was that we would put the strings around it and then tighten the strings and they would kind of make like the ridges in the pumpkin didn't work that well so prototype number two we used metal that seems to work better it actually like deforms the pumpkin without breaking so the first step is build the cage yes we want to reuse some of these wires maybe well it's a measure like how big is the cat yeah. all right all right Oberon, how big are you <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> He's, uh, okay, when he sits like that, 16 inches tall by 24. 16 by 24. Wait. Okay, based on the size of the cat, we think that this is how long <laughs> we need this to be. I think the easiest way to cut this wire is just to score it with like something like wire cutters, and then you can just kind of bend it back and forth. Ta-da! That worked pretty well. Now we need to make three of these. We're using blue tape with that masterful tape job right there. <laughs> You're so good at taping things. Thank you. <laughs> I went to the school of tapeology. Now what? Now we make it pumpkin shaped. Pumpkin shaped, okay. I think if we bend it in here and make like the top. Okay. And then we can make it around. So Let's when see. we blow up, it'll basically end up being like this. And this is where the top of the balloon will be, where we'll tie it, right? So we want to basically pick the middle. Like that? Yeah. Is that too much? No. I don't it's know. Fine. So the cage is going to be smaller looking than the actual pumpkin because that'll be the interior ridge and then the, the pumpkin will like expand outside of the cage. This is a lopsided pumpkin. <laughs> Aren't they all? How are we going to connect the bottoms here? Oh, I had an idea for that. So this is like wire that you, it's basically also wire, just smaller wire. Okay. So I'll cut off a little piece of this. All right, so now I'm going to go, I'm going to twist this little wire holds it in place and then we go like this and now it's nice and tight and then we can kind of adjust the middle why are you keep unshallowing <laughs> shallowing my we can we can re keep ruining it. my pumpkin shape this is not even close to centered this little bee here it's not that bad have you ever seen a pumpkin they're so weird looking we're going for realism i want here. a champion pumpkin here <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> win like first place at the county fair yes the harvest <laughs> festival those are the biggest weirdest looking ones that win first place so here's what I'm thinking. When we connect it, maybe we should put a wire up at the top here too, so it all connects together. And then we can like, shoo. Yeah, shoosh it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it should be like all we need. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hey. Yeah. Okay, yes. Ooh, look at that, pumpkin-ish. A plan is coming together. I'm just roughly taping this. Okay. Oh, there we go. Look at this. It's working. Ta-da. It's a pumpkin. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna stay at all. Just so happens we have an old paint can. You just go like this, and then later, when we lift it, we just cut it right there. <laughs> this is exciting. Now what? Now blow up the Is balloon? it balloon time? It's balloon time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold it. You're gonna hold it? Yeah. Okay. At a certain point, I think it'll like hold itself in there. But... <laughs> that was so loud. Putting another layer of tape just to like make double sure it's not gonna pop. My hand is just gonna be squished in here. <laughs> I feel like I don't have a good grip on this. Okay, is that better? I think so. <laughs> I went okay. on my ear. Is mm. science happening right now? Um, yes. Is it pumpkin-y enough? That looks really pumpkin-y. Are you sure? You're chief science officer. 
Didn't you go to mechanical engineering school? And then I switched to art. <laughs> you're, yeah, so you're the perfect blend of artist and engineer. You should know exactly what to do in this scenario. Maybe a little more. A little more. See? Science. What's it look like? That's awesome looking. Okay. This is Good. really cool. Okay. And it's huge. Let me twist it for you. That's, I love it. That looks amazing. Now what? Paper mache test. I've never actually done paper mache. I don't like things that are sticky. You know, like, I don't like working with clay. I don't like working with mud and that type of stuff. You want to get your hands dirty. I was the kid in art class who was like, I'll totally watch you do that. That's great. So I, I don't know how this works or what to do. I don't really know either, but we asked on our Discord and they gave us some advice. They said wood glue is kind of one of the strongest materials for paper mache. And I think it dries a little bit faster. And we're going to put water in there to make it workable. So we're just going to eyeball it and keep stirring and see how it, what kind of consistency it goes. Mix ingredients with no actual recipe. Just eyeball it and wing it, figure it out. Yeah, the Wicked Maker's way. <laughs> <laughs> glue and water don't want to mix. No. But they do. They do eventually. It's sticky. It feels sticky and gross and I'm really trying to avoid that. <laughs> so it needs to be wet enough where it absorbs. That looks good. Jay tried to get out of doing this because he doesn't like sticky things. It's not going to happen. I don't like we, sticky, gross things. We do this together. I like dry things. Like sawdust. I like sawdust. Glue. No, sir, don't like it. Oh, I don't know. I do not enjoy this. <laughs> this makes me really uncomfortable. Slamming pumpkin. We went through all that glue already. Uh, but not yet. Dang. That's right. a lot of glue. Let's see, just a little tip. That's the consistency you want. Flowy but not watery. We have one finished layer of newspaper. The second layer, we're gonna use this, which is basically cut up paper bags from like the grocery store. And it's just gonna give us kind of a, a lot more sturdier of a second layer. I don't wanna jinx it, but this is exactly what it was supposed to do. It's true. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's not usually how these things go. So the glue is going to dry, probably going to take several days, we'll see. <laughs> right? Yeah. We'll see. Maybe not. But in the meantime, what are we going to do? We're going to dye our rope. So this is sisal rope and it should dye pretty well. This is 500 feet of rope. We don't because, know how much we're going to need. Well, actually we measured. We did measure. And that should be pretty close. It's really thin because we wanted the, the detail of the pumpkin. If we had thicker rope, we'd lose some of that detail. Probably wouldn't need so much otherwise, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Shake well. So I'm thinking you like recoil it as you put it in. Or you, or you just do that. That's cool too. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. All this right, is, never mind. It's just going in. This is going to be a disaster. It's just going in. <laughs> is there something heavy we can put on top of it? We're just gonna leave this overnight and it'll be fine. Yeah? Okay. Nice job. Hey, look at this. It worked! This is like the perfect pumpkin color. Yeah. We left it in overnight and then we rinsed it and let it dry and it's it's so pumpkin-y. It is. I think we can just be done with this. All this, yes. For a little while. Oh hey, it looks better. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. All right, what happened was we let it dry in here. It was doing great. And then this morning we took it outside because it was nice and hot out. The heat made the balloon inside expand. <laughs> And it, it literally and it like ripped the paper. Ripped through our paper mache. So I think we're just gonna pop the balloon and see what happens. Kapow! Ooh. <laughs> That's it? That's it. That's all you get. Oh! Oh, there you go. Oh, what's happening to it? I don't know. It's now creaking and groaning. It. I don't know if it's gonna come out. Like it may become it may have become one. I don't know. Oh, it strange. stinks in there. It's, yeah, that's why I said it's like it smells gluey. It's in there. like like chemically. It's super stinky. All right. Ooh. So we're gonna cut the wires like around the edge and we're hoping it's not gonna fall apart after we do that, but it shouldn't, we'll be all right. Okay. It's See? a pumpkin. Look, it's a little like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Squishy. Squishy. Yeah. The structural integrity, questionable. 
Yeah. <laughs> what do we do? You want to put more paper mache on it? I feel like we have two options. More paper mache uh -huh. or resin. Okay, we hung up the thing from the ceiling and we're gonna drip resin all over it and give it like a hard coat. Yeah. So. And now it's like tether pumpkin. We have a shiny pumpkin. Shiny pumpkin. Hopefully we we'll come back tomorrow and it's a nice hard shell and we don't have to do anything else except for put our rope on in the face and all that stuff. But hopefully the structural integrity is solid. All right, it's been what, three days? So we got one coat of epoxy on, came back, it was still a little bit squishy. So we put one more coat of epoxy on and now this thing's solid. We took the wires out of the inside too. We didn't want those to be there forever. And now with the two layers of epoxy, I mean, definitely the cat will be able to climb on it. I think even our kids will be able to climb on it and it's not gonna collapse. So I think we're ready to keep going. Yeah. That's a pretty good line. It's a weird concept to be cutting like in and out, but ultimately end up with a straight line. All right, let's test it out. We don't always know what we're doing, but sometimes things work out. We are trying to decide what the face of our jack-o'-lantern is gonna look like. Looking at happy jack-o'-lanterns. I'm so happy. All right, so we're trying to just sketch out what we want. We know he's gotta have like a really big mouth, maybe some, I want this little bit of a turn on the eyes. It really just needs like a triangle nose. So we'll come up with something cute. We drew out what we want, and then what we did was we took this and extended it because the rope's about a half inch thick. And when we wrap it, we want this space to be here. So we extended it out, so that's gonna be our actual cut line. But this will be like what you see. It's easy to cut through, but I'm nervous about cutting too far, so I'm going slow. To get started with the knife and then move to the snips is working a lot better. There we go. Yay! One eye. Just realized we didn't tell you guys, but we painted it. We painted it orange. <laughs> it was really complicated. It's orange. And the middle, black. So yeah, that happened. It's orange, black, we're good. Moving on. <laughs> it looks awesome. He's so cute. On the top, eventually we're gonna have a stem. So what we're gonna do is have the rope come up to where the stem will be instead of like coming up under where the stem is. That way it'll integrate seamlessly. So there's kind of two choices we have when wrapping this. We could either go around horizontally, which you might lose some of the definition in the ribs and things, or we could go vertical. Vertical is gonna take, I think, definitely longer because we have to cut each and every strand, but it's gonna look way better. So that's what we're gonna do. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news first, there's a lot of rope on here. It's been what, like three days? Uh -huh. Of just slowly <laughs> gluing rope things on. But it's working out really, really well. It's looking great, so it's encouraging. Also, the other good news, Oberon likes it. Yeah, the cat likes it. He likes it so much that we had this thing on the counter and he jumped up on it from the ground latched his claws on it and pulled the whole thing backwards off the shelf and it crashed down to the ground and smashed the face. Uh, so, but, but he likes it. I'll just keep it in the garage from now on. <laughs> we limits. can totally fix this though. Most of the damage is right here. This came off, so I think we can like just tape that back on. This too, right here. There's like three major cracks. Yeah. How are you gonna fix it? Duct tape. <laughs> One of the tricky things about doing the ropes vertically is that the pumpkin is wider in the middle, so instead of the ropes being parallel, they kind of spread apart like that. 
To solve that, what we're doing is kind of alternating the ropes as we go. We're cutting the rope at a really steep angle and it creates a pretty seamless look because of the texture of the rope. Okay, you ready for this? Pumpkin! <laughs> look, look how happy he is he to is exist. He is the cutest pumpkin it's very, ever. I love this thing. So we found this rope and I think it's gonna be perfect for the stem. He just immediately went in. Uh-huh. He knew Like he, instantly. He knows it's his. <laughs> hey buddy, you like it? <laughs> oh, that's so good. Awesome. Operation Pumpkin Cat Bed is a success. Can you look through the hole? <laughs> He's looking at me through the hole. <laughs> Do you like your house? Hi. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Oberon loves his new house. If you wanna see more of our projects, check the link right down there. And until next time, stay wicked. Next, we need to live it out. Okay, go. All right, we need to leave. No. The rope walks into a bar. The bartender says. <laughs>